Hey everybody, the Divine Region campaign brought with it many changes to the camel structure within the game here. And this video is going to cover all of the new changes from changes to type one, type two, type three, and hunter camos are all now four and a half percent plus minus for sea detectability range and incoming fire dispersion, four and a half percent respectively. And you can now recycle all of your permanent camos that you no longer use. So now say you have a skin for a ship uh, and we'll look at some of those on some of my Japanese ships later. But uh, say you have a permanent camo that you've created that you will no longer use because you have a cool skin. You can now recycle that permanent camo back into buckets of paint. It's about 50% of the paint that uh, was used to create the camo uh, to begin with is what you'll be able to recycle it. But at least you can recycle it and not completely lose the camo. Also, uh, there is quite a number of camos that you can see here. Um, there's this permanent camo here that's kind of grayed out. It says down here that 75 buckets of paint will create this permanent camo. Well, in the past, that was uh, not available. And with this update, there is a list of dozens of ships that have had this um, ability added. So a lot of these historical permanent camos are now available for 75 buckets of paint. And to see what the camel would look like, you simply hit the L2 button from this point on the PlayStation. And that's a pretty cool camel for the Renown. I think a lot of people really did want this camel. And if you created a camel from the Union Jack camel, which I saw a lot of Union Jack camels out there, you can now recycle that camo and select the permanent uh, historical camel here. And you'll get uh, up to 417 buckets of paint for your old uh, premium uh, permanent camouflage that you've created from, uh, say, the Union Jack camo. So you won't lose it. You will uh, be able to get that back. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and do it. 75 buckets of paint. You can see I have 4,174 buckets of paint. So we're going to go ahead and create the permanent camo. Just hold down the square button on the PlayStation and then select the permanent camos. So now when you select the camo, you can see this is what the Renown is going to look like. So there you go. We have created our standard type grade one permanent camouflage from the historical camo available for the Renown in port here. And a grade one camo is plus minus 0.5% for sea detectability range and incoming fire dispersion. So for 150 buckets of paint, you can upgrade that up to a grade two camo. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. And you've got sea detectability range and incoming fire dispersion of one and a half percent respectively. And 250 more buckets of paint will create your grade three camo. And that will be 3% uh, sea detectability range and incoming fire dispersion. So to fully upgrade to four and a half percent, you have to use another 350 buckets of paint. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And so there you go. The Renown now has this cool historical camo at grade four of plus minus four and a half percent. And that's, uh, that's how you go ahead and do that. So let's check out recycling the camos. And for that, we are going to check out some of my Japanese ships. All right, here we are on some of my destroyer Zs are my old trustworthy Japanese destroyers that I set up years ago, three years ago. And best I could do at the time because camos, historical camos were not available, was a type one camo that I created a permanent camouflage out of. You can see here it's maxed out four and a half percent. And that's what it looks like. Here is what the historical camo looks like and I like this a lot better so yeah I was kind of bummed out that I had that maxed out especially now that this guy is going to be available for 75 buckets of paint so we are going to go ahead and get that camo we're going to set that up on the ship and we're going to max this baby out so all right 
just like I did before, 750 buckets of paint. And now I've got the Akazuki with this uh, historical camo all maxed out here with the um, Type 1 Premium Permanent Camouflage that I'm no longer going to use. You can see down here, it says I can get 417 buckets of paint back out of that. And that is what I'm going to do. I don't need that anymore. All right, and that is a way to clean up a lot of your camo. I'm going to end up probably spending an hour to go through all the camos on my ships here and square that away. Ryuju is another one here. Let's see if this guy has a camo. No, he doesn't. So we don't have uh, anything we can do on that. The Fuso here. Here I've got this cool Shogun camo. And this guy had a Type 1 Premium Permanent Camouflage as well. And yeah, that one or that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going with the uh, Vanity camo. I could do the historical camo, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. And bottom line, I'm going to get rid of this camo and uh, get some more buckets of paint. I will never use that camo that I created. So now I am really glad that they have uh, implemented this option because this uh, really, I don't know if it bothered me, but... Uh, Yeah, we're going to upgrade the camo here, and we're going to get rid of this guy, and yeah, we're going to select that guy, and there you go. The other example I could show you is the Hikaryu camo. I created a permanent camo out of the Type 3 camo, and this was really, I don't know if it was bothering me, but I really liked, this is what the camo looks like on the ship. I really like the historical camo here, but it was sitting there kind of like teasing me, but it was not available. So now it is available and we are going to go ahead and create this permanent camo and get rid of that grade three camo. All right, but you know what? I have the space. Uh, port hell carrier going so uh, I may not use a historical camel but at least now I have it and it's set up so and you know what I really don't think that the video would be complete without showing how to create buckets of paint from disposable camos so here we have the type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 camos that we are going to create buckets of paint with here are 37 buckets of paint you hit the square button and screen comes up and you can melt the camouflage into paint here so we can create a maximum of 259 buckets of paint here and that is what we're going to do with all 37 camos so there you go we're going to do the same thing with the type 2 camos another 238 buckets of paint and that's really all there is to it so you don't have to do all the camos. You can select however many camos you want, but that's how to create buckets of paint from disposable camos. All right, well, there you go. That is it for a quick look at your camo options now with the new update. So all the camos are plus minus four and a half percent. You can recycle any premium camouflages that you've created from any of the disposable camos, and those are the big features. Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it. All right, let me finish setting up the rest of the British battle cruisers. Set up their camos, that is. Okay, we're going to create that paint. Going to select it. And we're going to max it out. Right, very cool. Now we're going to go with the Hawk.